international chef and owner of Daily Squares Catering, and today I'm going to show you how to make traditional French crepes. So we're going to start with one cup of flour, one teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of melted butter, two cups of milk, and three eggs. What we'll do in the beginning is just to start by mixing in our dry ingredients, so your sugar and your flour and your salt. And you want to just give them a little bit of whisk just to incorporate them together. And now we're going to move on to our wet ingredients. You'll want an electric mixer or a handheld mixer. And we'll start by adding in our eggs and our milk. So we're going to whisk those together until they're blended. You want to keep it like a medium, medium high. While that's blending, we're going to put in our melted butter. And you want it to get kind of frothy before we add in our dry ingredients. So we'll add in a little bit of our dry ingredients at a time just to make sure that it mixes thoroughly. You want to stop it for a little bit and you want to scrape down the sides so you get all the ingredients incorporated together. You don't want any leftover flour. Make sure everything's nice and blended. So now we'll blend some more. And we're good. Now with crepes, you want to rest the mixture for about an hour before you use it. So we're just going to pop this into the refrigerator and let it rest. So now we're going to cook our crepes. Normally you'd want to use a crepe pan, but any nonstick pan will work. I like using a smaller one, just so it's a little easier to control. I'm going to go ahead and spray my pan with a little bit of spray so it doesn't stick. And I like to use a ladle, it gives me a little better control over how much I'm using. And you just want to put in just enough to cover the pan so that it spreads around. And you want to tilt the pan so that the batter goes all the way around. You get really nice lacy edges. So there's almost no batter that's rolling around. It's going to cook pretty quickly. And I like using one of the, these rubber spatulas or a silicone spatula to flip because it doesn't usually tear as much as a metal spatula would. You just give this a few minutes to cook. You can see it's already pulling away from the edge here. You want to loosen it up just a little bit with your spatula. Makes it a little easier to flip. <coughs> Then we'll just pull up from the edges here. Try and get your spatula under there. And then flip it right over. And you'll see you get a nice little lacy edge here. It's really what you want. And these are super thin and really pretty. So once you've cooked all your crepes, you can plate them up. I like to use a little bit of powdered sugar and sometimes some lemon, but you can put savory fillings in them as well and they're really good. So this has been How to Make Crepes. I'm Danie.